Welcome to Psych Card Games. My name is Dustin, and today we're back playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night. In the last episode, we found a bunch of uh, stuff, a bunch of things that we've never explored before. So we're feeling pretty good. Oh my goodness, I love it when I find save points in new areas. Okay. Alright, now we got our foothold in this new location. Wonder how f I wonder how far this rabbit hole goes. I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna check this. I've been burned by that too many times. Alright, we're feeling good. I, I feel like I want to explore and find... I feel like it has to link to that door down there. I could be wrong about that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend like that's what's gonna happen here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, snipers. Sniper dactyls. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. <laughs> Shield rod. What does that do? <laughs> uh, uh, shield rod. I hope it lets me survive what I'm doing right now. Oh. Extra effective with shield. Do we try that out? I think we're going to try that out. Let's, uh, let's equip that, and then we're going to go down and here and equip the shield that we have if I can find the darn thing night shield is that what we're thinking here do we have another one we have a leather shield that's not good I'm feeling like that's what we got this is what we got to work with here all right let's let's see what happens So I have my shield up. Um. Does it seem to make a difference? I feel like it doesn't make a difference. What is the damage output of this thing? Hold on. Okay, where's my morning star? Not the morning star, sorry. Where's the uh, holy? Okay, morning star is less than this. My holy rod is also less than this. No freaking way. What about that really crazy weapon that we had? I don't remember what that was called. Oh, nunchucks are two handed. Ooh, ooh, interesting. Where is that thing? Scimitars? That's not it. I don't remember. All I know is that I'm doing more damage now. Feeling good. Combat knife does almost as much damage. That's crazy. Okay. Leaving this. Go away. It is really slow. I will I will say that. Alright, I'm gonna go I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and heal. Heal up to full. That room was uh not not kind to me. Mm. Alright, so we can go down, we can go to the right. I feel like I'm just gonna try to see all the edges of this. I'm really. Did that guy just like bow down next to his fallen bird friend and cr like cry while I murdered him? feel a little bad about that. He totally does. He just stands next to it. That's so sad. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, demon. Demon face. Okay, so this doesn't connect to that location. Although, we still have... Oh, I need to fight you, huh? <laughs> Green tea, okay. This has got to be important somehow, right? They wouldn't just throw a really cool looking... Can I break through the ground here? 
No. Why would this be here? What purpose does this serve? They give me like a unique enemy and then they just give me a green tea. Okay, I wanna let this guy finish his animation. Wow, he totally like, he just goes next to the bird and then he dies. I feel so bad for this guy. Oh man, all right, we're gonna head back up. Let's explore the bottom part. Now we're gonna head up to the... Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head up here. There was a room with more dudes in it. You're really easy when you can't hit me when I'm, when I'm crouched. Okay, so this clearly is just that. Jeez, knock me out. Knock me out of the room. Okay. How do I how do I fight this guy? Jesus Christ. How does one get through this room here? Okay, got one. Got two. Which is good, because I have zero health left. Um... I'm gonna stay on the top level for now. Oh, we could finally have our vengeance on this... on this lady. You're not that scary, because you don't really have a chance to attack me, ever. Alright. Um, we can go down, we can go up. We can go straight. We've already been up. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Oh, I needed health. Alright. Alright, so we've already gone up. We know what's up. We don't know what's down. Do I take the elevator down, or do I just jump down here? Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a really big one. There's like a giant rat in the background. It's like a rat monster. Another one of you. Okay. Yeah, Kevin, if you could do if you could do something for once, that'd be great. Yee. Blood cloak. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds tasty. Lowers my defense. Oh, sorry. Wrong one. Converts damage to hearts. Interesting. That's very interesting. It lowers is my constitution. R lowers my luck. I really just want to see what it does. I want to see how that mechanic works out. Let's let's just try that for a second. Okay, let's check out for any secrets in here. Don't see any. Okay, moving to the right. Okay, I just took one damage. Um, if, if this does what I think it's supposed to do. Okay, so I, I did that. Let's take some damage here. Oh my goodness. I have like unlimited magic now. Oh, this is amazing. Oh wow, that's a good weapon. Or it's a good item. Dig it. God, 
That's so awesome. Oh my gosh. I, I want to keep this weapon. I've never seen it before, but I love it. It's freaking lightning. Oh, and perfect. I got a max heart up. All right, let's not lose this. Awesome. Perfect. Man, I'm feeling so powerful now. Anytime I need hearts, I just get take some damage and I'm back up to full. That's amazing. It seems a little powerful for what we're doing. All right, I'm going to save and then we're going to head off to a new area. We never went up to this room to our right. There was the giant sword thing in there that we did not want to deal with. No, I don't I don't want the time thing. I want this crazy lightning strike thing. God, it's so awesome. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. All right, is this a is this a place to go? It's not. All right. Now I just need to take some damage, and I'll have full health again, or full hearts again. It's perfect. Couldn't have planned it better myself. I didn't think they'd give you an item that strong, honestly. Oh gosh. Oh wait. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Give me more power. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I'm taking damage. And I'm like, oh wait, damage makes me invincible. Oh, good job, Kevy. Good job. Good boy. <laughs> oh, this game. Oh, I freaking love it. Am I missing anything? No, in my excitement of just destroying everything in the world. All right, there's a way to go up. I can't make it that high. <laughs> Ooh, fast travel. Okay. All right, that's good. We got a fast travel. That's slick. There is one more area down at the bottom by the clock room that we can go up. Except for that was, um, we couldn't get up there. We couldn't jump high enough. Hmm. How do we do that? We can't make this right. And this is exactly what we saw down in the clock room. All right, we're gonna head back to the clock room. Um, I have a theory. I do have a theory. Okay, come on now. He like does one final attack when he dies. Okay, um, I have a theory that if we go to the clock room. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I freaking love it. It's so good. Oh my goodness. Anytime I take damage now, anyone who damages me will rue the day that they gave me the energy to annihilate their face. All right, we're gonna head down. I think it was down here, right? Yeah. So my theory is if the clock door, the, the section on the right opened up, or the section on the left opened up when we like exited and entered the room again. I'm wondering if that'll happen again. If we go in and out of the room, maybe like the left side will open up or something. You know what I mean? So this one opened. How do we get this to move more?
Did we did we do anything to make it do stuff? I don't think so. We didn't really interact with anything in there. So that one just moved when we were in here. So apparently being in here doesn't matter. It doesn't change. It doesn't matter if we're here or not. Unless unless that just happened because we left and entered the room. Do you just need to hang out in here? Maybe. Okay, we're going to hang out in here for a little while. And we're going to see if that, that side opens up at any point in time. Sounds like a plan. I'll catch back up with you in like a second. All right, so in the clock room, I could not, I waited around for a ton of time and it never moved the, the right statue. Um, but I did notice that I didn't, I don't think I explored this entire hallway. I could be wrong. This is why I never explored this hallway. But it looks like it connects on the other side. So maybe if I go up and around, maybe I can get there. That I can get whatever that item is. I'm kind of surprised I didn't get that already, but... Um... You're just, you're just giving me more energy, man. Are you sure you want to hurt me? And you get lightning in the face. All right. Um, so this was this it? Yeah, I need to be able to get there. Here we go. Did I just? I'm, I must have just went to the left last time I did this. Library card. Perfect. Well, this is a boss room for sure. <laughs> Who are you? Open Hell's Gate. Come forth, my servants. The scent of your blood. You're a Belmont. Crush this flea who invades my castle. <laughs> oh, God. So we found Richter. Um, I, I, I feel like if I stand here, I'll do fine. I'm certain that was a Belmont. So he says he's the lord of this castle. Well, that's who may... Richter was the guy we played at the very beginning of the game, right? He's the one who defeated... He's the one who defeated Dracula. But we assume that he came back here and because the castle returned. Is there no Dracula? Is Richter just the is he the bad guy of this game? Oh Jesus. Oh my goodness. Okay, is that that's a relic, right? Okay, how do I use it? Mist could pass. I get that. Oh. Oh, it's like a really short period of time. Okay. So it's just a little bit. It doesn't really let us do a ton. Can I j jump again after I... Oh, he uses a ton of magic. Oh, my bad. Okay. Where was that area that we knew we needed to be missed to go to? I don't remember. I really don't remember. Um, I'll have to rewatch our episodes, or if you remember, let me know. Because I remember there was another area we wanted to go to, but we couldn't because of the we needed to be in mist form. I thought it was over by... There was a boss over there. Where was that? 
I thought it was on the left side of the map, but I don't actually think it was. Was it in the library? No. We'll have to figure it out. I don't, for the life of me, cannot remember where that was. All right, I'll watch. I'll watch. I'll rewatch and figure out where it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's our episode for today. Um, we have a new ability that lets us go places. So now we're going to go back to areas where we think we could use that ability. Um, I don't know. This won't let us get up into that other room from the clock tower. So clearly there's something else that we need in order to do that. Let's try something for a second. We're at full map. We're at full magic, so let's use it. Can I jump after I come out of it? I can't. So clearly this isn't what we need for that. But I'm sure it'll be useful somewhere. All right, I'll talk to you guys. See you guys on Tuesday of next week with more Castlevania Symphony Night. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you later.